Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about requests. So we've talked about we have a client and we send information over to the server and that information is called a request. What is a request? What exactly is this information? This has taken me months, unfortunately. It's been taking a long time to figure it out. Just the very basics, just the very basic client code. And that's one of those things that I have to sit back and I just have an epiphany, okay? Epiphany being a, just a sudden realization, like a very deep, a very profound realization that uh, dumber than I really thought I was, okay? So now that I realize it, it's like, wow, it took me that long to learn something just very basic. And it's a shame, but it's taken that long, but it has. I guess that's what I'm documenting here is my journeys, okay? So what what is this in the request and what's the code and let's try to figure this one out okay so we have a body and how i created this was this head information all i did was just stage hand um, web simple and then i just copied and pasted and i deleted the entire body and i'm just going to put a form now if you want to send information if you want to do stuff on the client you don't need the form right but if you want to send information to the server you need the form. You don't need the form, but that's probably one of the main re ways in which you're going to send information, not a request over to them. Okay. Not the only way, but the basic way. And so we'll talk about methods. So what's the method, right? So we talked about this in a previous video on servers themselves. It's just a, when you use a post, you're basically sending information and you're trying to update or trying to um, create some information on the server. If you use a get, that's really you're receiving, just reading information. Right here in itself, you cannot use a, use a put or delete on the form. I don't know, know exactly how to get that. You have to do use some type of Dart or JavaScript or something like that in order to change it, or maybe you change it on the server. That's gonna be more for the future itself. But usually you use a post or a get. An action, where do you send this information? Where is the server listening, in other words? Sometimes it's listening like it's, a, it's an application on your desktop. And that's what you use many times with PHP. But for Aqueduct, we're gonna have to send it to a location where the server is listening, and that happens to be localhost slash example, okay? Now, what are we gonna send over? Here, we're gonna send over like a last name, second last name, and then your first name, and we'll submit it, okay? So we'll need some input right inside here. The thing that got me for the longest time is you need the name. Okay, if you don't have a name to your elements, it doesn't work. Now, name we didn't use a lot in the client side when we just talked about just the client side itself. You don't really need to use it a lot. You do it in certain circumstances, but not a lot. In, in the server, you absolutely have to have a name, and that's what kind of tripped me up for the longest time. Because what happens is when you get this information, it gets sent over as at a key value type of format. So what will happen is you'll take the last name, the name, in other words, of the element, and the value, that will be the key, and the value will be this other value that you have, and it'll get sent over to the server. Name is essential. ID is essential for the, it's not essential, but it's probably, you know, it's really important for the client side, because you're going to instantiate it using Dart or JavaScript or whatever. But in terms of the server, the server has to know where it's coming from, and that's why you need the name. Then there's input type equals submit. Notice it's not type equals button, it's type equals submit, because that is what tells the system to send the form information over as in the form of a request. I'm going to type in right here, that's the last first, and this is going to be last second. Right, it's the second last name because it's going to be right inside here. So the ID is different, so you can manipulate it with Dart in a different manner. But the last name, the name is going to be the same. Both of them are last name. And then the first name is going to be just the first right here. And if you hit submit, it it's, gets sent to the server. I do have an Aqueduct server in the background. We're not going to go over that, so I'm going to hide it for right now, okay? But what happens is request gets sent over. It processes it and sends back the last first, so the last name, key, value, but there's a couple of values. There's the zero, that's the key here, and the value here, 
key here and the value here. So it would be the last name and the key, that's the key, and the value is all of this, but there is a key value within this key value, right? I hope you can see something like that. Here it would be first name, that's the key, and the value is zero colon first, but the zero colon first has another key, zero, and the value is first. So, so that's how it actually is seen by the server and it gets sent back, all right? So right, like we mentioned, um, you could change this to something like get, and I did set, set up the system so that it will read get also, but it'll be completely different. So let's go ahead and save that, go back, send it again, and this gets sent back because it's, that's the way in which I sent it up. It would send up back something completely, utterly different. Um, let's just change that back. What else is actually getting sent? Well, what you can do is you go through Web Developer. So this is Firefox Web Developer and hit Network. So it would take you right here. All right. So what we do is when we send it, it sends a post method post domain file. And then when you click on that, what you could see is um, I hope you could see that it's kind of small. This is the response header. OK, yes, but but that's not what we're talking about. We'll talk about requests, right? We'll talk about responses what the server sends back later. But request headers, so what do you get sent over? A header. What is this? This is called the body. The body is the data you send over, but then there's metadata, right? So there's the, the headers, which the header is the key value, except, and then this text, so the blue and the purple, red, purple, something like that, the, the color right inside of here, that would be the value, okay? So those are the headers that get sent over. What else gets sent over? Um, sometimes you'll see at the end of these something like a slash, and then it'll be like a question mark or something like that, and there's stuff after that. That would be the parameter query, the query parameter, I think it's called. That type of information gets sent over. It's not necessarily this type of text. Sometimes it's other information. Like, for example, if submit had a um, a name also or in uh, something like that, it would get sent over. But that's the information. That's a query parameter. Then there's the, well, it's the path, but that's kind of right here, right? So this is the information, but this is the would be the path um, to the, for the, um, request. Okay. And we've gone over that in the past. So th that's the main bit of information that we need to know. And then we'll learn how to manipulate this information once it gets sent over. Super important to keep in mind also, and I always say super important because these are things that always trip me up. And so I'm mostly talking to myself. It's when you get a bunch of key values and you put them together, that means, means it's a JSON format, right? Server is, you have to know JSON format. I know JSON format, but I'm not familiar with it enough that I don't really use it a lot or anything like that. Let's just go over the headers. We can click on that, by the way. Raw data. Data. Oh, this is actually how the, the key format looks like. So last name, colon, last name. That's the format itself. That's pretty cool. Um, and this is JSON. That, that's really what, what's important because we have to be familiar with it. Not just familiar, but but know it like the back of our hands and just be very, very familiar in order to use this because we're going to use it a lot in the future. All right. So I hope that was helpful. I think it was super helpful for me, but let's keep moving on from there. Thanks.